Good morning, everybody. I want to discuss Mullen with you because they had breaking news again this morning, and I believe today we could actually rock it um, out of this resistance at the 22 cents we've just broken, and I think we could head back towards that 50 cent level and hopefully continue on up. I would love to get to a dollar naturally. Guys, um, go back and watch my morning watch list for an update regarding Mullen and the video I did last night. I am going to follow up and make a call to the dealership. Um, I'm going to give it a day or two, hopefully for management to get acquainted, and I will make a follow-up video on that. Please also note, as I said it in my videos, I am long Mullen, and I firmly do believe in this company, guys. Um, there's just a few red flags that have been bothering me lately, and that was kind of a tipping on the iceberg last night. But I do understand that perhaps those um, were people that worked for an answering service and not actual people at the dealership. So I apologize if I caused any confusion. Let's get started, and I will make a follow-up after speaking to management at the um, place. So today we have great news. Let's start. Okay. So Mullen Automotive partners with Loop Global to deploy EV charging solutions, including public DC fast charging network and residential offerings. Loop is going to offer up to 300 million in available financing via its Loop as a service program to deploy level two and level three DC public charging stations across the Mullen charging network powered by Loop. Mullen and Loop will provide turnkey, co-branded, intelligent electric vehicle charging technology, accelerating the expansion of the charging infrastructure in the USA. Guys, this is great news from Mullen and very bullish. Currently, we are at 22.69 uh, cents. We are up um, over a penny in pre-market with already 9.02 million shares traded. We have a 52-week low of 18 cents, a 52-week high of $6.45. Our average volume is 169 million shares. Let's see if we can break through that today. According to Weeble, we do have a short and medium-term strong bullish signal, which Definitely helps the situation, guys. Now, here's where things get interesting. Our short interest is currently 11.81% with 1.37 days to cover. Look at this. Um, on the 13th, at the end of the day, they were out of shares. They had zero shares available. Now, we currently have 150,000 shares available for them to short. I would expect those to run out very quickly. In fact, in the next update, I would be surprised if they weren't. Also, guys, look at this. The cost to borrow has almost doubled. It went from 5% to 9.07%. So that's pretty significant as well. And I'd look for that to continue to climb. The short volume ratio yesterday was 47.72%, which was actually the lowest it's been in a very long time. Every day for the past two weeks, it's been over 50%, which is how they've been able to maintain this price down. Failure to deliverers do not come to play with this. I am very excited to see how Mullen reacts today. Hopefully we can get that push back towards the 50 cent level, guys. Have a great day.